Hi, this is Sammy and welcome to Sammy's Tips. For today's video, we're going to be going over how to update your Triton manually using a USB flash drive. So in order to start the updating process, we first need to verify what version of software that the machine is on. So we have our machine turned on here. We're on the home page and we're going to go to the top right hand corner to these three white lines. We're going to tap on it. We're going to go to machine info and you can see here it shows us our version number. So ours is on version 66, which is the newest version. Now, what you want to note here is if your machine shows that you're on version 59 or lower, or even if you're on a partial version like version 61.2 or 54.5, you're going to have to do this manual update process. If you are on versions 60 or newer, you can actually just do the regular software update. And we have a link to that video as well with the tutorial. So now that we see we're on version 6, we're going to go ahead and go back. So at this point, we're going to be getting ready to do the uninstall and install. But before we do that, you want to make sure you have your USB flash drive with the new file on the flash drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your USB and you're going to plug it into a computer or a laptop and you're going to go to your browser and type in tritonkeymachine.com and once you're on our website you're going to want to go to the support tab you're going to hover over it with your mouse and then you're going to click on software update once you're on that page it's going to show you some files you can download and there's going to be two options. One is going to be for the Triton Plus. And the other one is going to be for the regular Triton. So you need to make sure that you're choosing the correct one to download. Otherwise, you can run into some errors or some other problems when you're trying to install the software. So there's two main ways to tell if you have a regular Triton or Triton Plus. You can look down at your orange shield. And if you take a look, you'll notice there's going to be a sticker on the front and it'll either say Triton or Triton Plus. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have the sticker or you can't see it right now, you can also take a look at the silver sticker underneath your screen. It'll be on the right side and it's going to have your serial number and your registration code listed there. Now, if you take a look at the serial number, you're going to want to pay attention to the last four digits. So if the first number of the last four starts with an eight, that means you have a Triton Plus. However, if it starts with a five, that is a regular Triton. That's how you can tell which version of software that you want to install. Now that you have the software installed to the USB drive, we're going to take it and plug it into the back of the machine, this USB port here. Just insert it like so, and you are ready to start the update process. So the next step is going to be, we're going to need to exit from the train app. We're going to take our finger and swipe up from the bottom of the screen, and we're going to hit the circle button to exit. Then we're going to go to the green gear icon to go to the settings. Now on the settings page here, we have to go to apps and we're going to look for the Triton app. Go towards the bottom. And if you find it, you're going to select it. And you can see here we have an uninstall button. So with the uninstall, you're just going to tap on it. It's going to ask you if you want to uninstall it. Now, before you do this, you're going to want to make sure if you have any important data on the app, you're going to want to back it up first. So if there's anything like cut history, your favorites, your custom profiles, anything special that you want to keep, you're going to need to back that up before you do this. Once you uninstall the app, this information is gone forever and it cannot be recovered. Now, as long as you're okay to proceed, you're going to want to hit the OK button. And already you can see uninstall finished. So now we're done with that. We're going to now go ahead and start the download and install process. 
We're going to hit the circle at the bottom to exit. And we're going to need to go to this white circle with six dots. When we tap on this, it shows all the apps on the machine. And what you can see here even too, that the Triton app is no longer here. And that's how you know it's been uninstalled. We're going to need to go to the ES File Explorer. It's this blue folder. We're going to tap on it. And now normally, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Um, what you're going to need to do is you need to go back to these blue lines here. And we're going to look for this local tab. So if it's not expanded, you just need to tap on it and expand it. And right here, we're looking for the USB. And you can see it says USB right there. You want to tap on the name. And this is going to bring us into our files that we have stored on a USB. So you might see your files here when you first open it up. For our USB, we go into this folder. And you can see we have a bunch of different files here. So like I mentioned earlier, we have a Triton Plus. We're going to need to download the Triton Plus V66 APK. We're going to tap on the file. And you can see here it's going to download. That's a blue bar for progress. All right, so when the installation and uh, download steps are in progress here, we have the software is already downloaded, but you can see it's not installed yet. So we're going to need to hit this install button. We hit install one more time with asking if we want to install it. And then we have a progress bar and it will take a minute or two to install. All right, so it's showing a message now is saying that the app is installed. We're going to want to open the app. It's going to launch us into the Triton app here. And we're going to need to register the machine using the serial encode, not sticker. So we see serial number and your registration code. So we're going to copy exactly what it says on the sticker there. And we'll go ahead and enter in ours. Once your serial number and code are entered in on the screen like this, you can go ahead and hit OK. And you can see we are already back into the Triton software. Now, if you want to verify, make sure that you are on version 66 and this ball looks good. I'm going to go to the top here, the three white lines, machine info again, and you can see version 66. Now, before you can cut any keys or anything, you're going to want to go to your jaw calibration and recalibrate all your jaws. When you do this process, it's going to erase the stored data from your previous uh, calibration, so there won't be anything saved. If you try to cut any keys or anything like that, you might run into some errors or have some poorly cut keys. Now, you're basically done with the installation here. The app is ready to go, but there's one last thing that you'll need to do. We're going to flip up from the bottom of the screen and hit the circle again. We're going to go to the white circle with the six dots. We're going to go back into ES File Explorer. The last thing that you want to do is locate your USB. You want to hit this arrow uh, triangular button. What this is going to do is going to eject the USB so it's safely removed from the machine and there's no corruption on the USB. Just tap it once, and you can see it's been removed successfully. At this point, you can remove the USB from the back, and if you need to get back into your train app, you can hit this square button here, shows you all your apps, go right into Triton, and you are set to go. Thanks for watching Sammy's tips. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed this tip, and Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new uploads. Feel free to comment with any suggestions you'd like to see next week.